It is important that we need to recognize that PMEs in Singapore do face challenges. And I see at least three challenges that they are facing. First, there is more competition from foreign PMEs. Indeed, the number of EP holders has increased from 65,000 in 2005 to 177,000 in 2020. So an increase over 15 years of 112,000, or an annual growth rate of just under 7%. Over this period, however, the increase in number of local PMEs in, is much higher by over 380,000. So 380,000 for local PMEs, 112,000 for EP holders. And these numbers underline an important point, that competition between foreign and local PMEs is not a zero-sum game. In fact, the converse is often true. By combining and complementing local and foreign expertise, we can attract more investments and create many more good jobs and career choices for Singaporeans. The downside is that with more foreign PMEs in Singapore, they can compete for jobs with locals at the company level. And at that level, there can be a zero-sum situation. So there is a trade-off at play here, if I put it simply. A, many jobs, strong competition. B, few jobs, no competition. And we need to find the right balance where there are more jobs, some competition. And that is the way to advance the interests of Singaporeans, not swing to any extreme position, but strike that careful balance and then adjust if we find that that balance is off. But if someone promises you more jobs, no competition from foreigners, he's selling you snake oil. It is not possible. It cannot be on any government's policy menu.